those are the elephant tusks just to show we are in Mombasa so thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if this is your first time to bump into this channel kindly consider to subscribe like and also share we start the drive at the famous Nyali Bridge in Mombasa County 001 and we are going to go all the way to Likoni Ferry and remember I'm using a public service vehicle so you do the video as they go you know the route they go to that is where you're going to do you know your video so the previous video ended at a place called Congo Ware. Now something new in Mombasa, rather something new in this video, if you can see right ahead, you can see there's a construction, there are some nice houses that are under construction. So this is at a place called Buxton in Mombasa. So this route, we are going to go with it all the way to Likoni Ferry. And as I said, you know, you go as the Matatu route or rather the public service route. And I'm so lucky today, you know, the roads were so clear, the skies were so clear, it's not rainy, or rather it wasn't rainy at this moment. So I got so lucky, but again, I'm sorry for... You know, the screen of the matatu was a bit dirty, but what do you do? I wanted to have a video, yeah? So this is Mombasa County, you know, for you who've been to Mombasa and you've used matatu, I know you can relate all this. And remember, if you are in a Mombasa, you can definitely use the public service vehicles, popularly known as matatu the one you're seeing right ahead you can also use the tuk-tuks actually there are so many tuk-tuks around you can see them there's so many of them and also you can use border border rides so we continue to proceed to town yeah because i know we are going to you know to different places some of the places i've got no idea of the name but I'll tell you if I come to know of a place, but I like, okay, I don't know what to say about Mombasa. There's something good about it. I think it's clean. <laughs> you know, the island itself as compared to where I'm coming from. You know, in my previous video, you go to that video, you'll be, what? And remember that area, it's a Nyali constituency that is under... Mohammed Ali, he is the member of parliament for that area, but this one is a different place. So we are now in the CBD. This is County 001. The place looks nice. I like the beautification, and then I just like the idea of having the blue and white. But again, I've come to realize, you know, things are changing. You can see like that house there has a different color in it. And I was asking somebody who was like, okay, you know, Mobasa being a hot place. So the only paint you can have on your building, it's, it's white. Because you do the other colors, you know, it fades, it fades pretty fast. And this one, it's... I don't know, for painters, you can tell us whether it is cheaper to paint using white, white or what. I just don't know. But, you know, just to have a uniform of everything. Remember, this is an island. So, if you know why the white and blue, please leave your thought in the comment below. Let us know more. Because as we travel, it is not that we know much. We travel for adventure and we travel to do what to learn so if you know please let us know why the white and blue colors in mombasa county 001 i'm telling you right now it's not that hot in mombasa neither is it too cold it's just somewhere there you know but the funny thing about mombasa you know it can be hot one minute and the next minute, you know, it's raining. So you just have to be pretty careful. 
<laughs> work at least prepared but for Mombasa people you know they used to it they don't do sweaters they don't do Nairobi jackets and all that that is just for Mombasa people before then it was moved to Nairobi Kanairo <laughs> as some other people you know call the place Kanairo so many things or rather so many good things coming up this is at a place called poster you can even see on your left there's a post bank somewhere there poster you know it's a place if you send a letter someone will go and pick it from the post office and that is why it is known as poster remember this route it's a route commonly used by public service vehicles i know you would want to see some other sides but you know it is not my wish if it was my wish or i was the one driving you know it could could be a bit different but using a public means you just have to go with the route anyway that's the route i wanted to to see how the matatas come how the matatus come all the way from nyali all the way to Likoni Ferry. And you know, in Mombasa, I haven't seen the number plates. Like in Nairobi, if you want to go to a certain, a certain place, you know, we go through its numbers. Like you go to Nairobi, Ngong. You want to go to Ngong, while in the CBD, triple one. There's also one or two. We got 46, that's in Nairobi. In Mombasa, I haven't seen much of that. What we just hear, it's a bamboo remission. Bamboo remtambo. You know, mtuapa. <laughs> and then the other side, you know, before you enter into the island, you know, we got Mikindani. Migadini, Magongo, Kwajomvu. So those are the names, you know, you'll hear Matatu calling. But if you're that person who expects a number, shock on you. Mombasa, just begin and ask. The best thing with this Matatu is, you know, they'll definitely guide you. And then to tell you another story, you know, the other day I took a Matatu and then, you know, I'm still new here. And anyway, I've not relocated, so I wanted to use the, you know, Bamburi Mutambo. And since there were no much people, I had to get into a uh, Mutuapa vehicle. You know, the conductor somehow convinced me. And then he was to drop me somewhere, Mutambo, you know, Mutambo, the Bamburi cement, and then pay for me to get to an, into another one. So when we go to a place that is at Nyali Mall, City Mall Nyali. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, City Mall Nyali. You know, that is where the guy decided no. Because I had given him a hundred. I was expecting a balance of a change of 30 shillings. So what the guy did, he paid the conductor of the other vehicle 20 bob. And he gave me 30 bob. And I was like, okay, who does that? Because I know if it could have been another one, you could just give him, you know, 30 bob, and that's all. So I realized by the end of the day, instead of paying 100 shillings, I paid 70 shillings. No, I paid, I paid how much? Because he gave the other conductor 30 bob. So I had a balance of 20. Hmm? Yeah, I was still, you know, I was still amazed. So right ahead, I can see some nice apartments. And I think that is, you know, the end of my ride. Because from there, you alight and then walk all the way to the ferry. So thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. If this is your first time to bump into this channel, kindly consider to subscribe, like, and also share. Bye for now. See you in the next.
hello what's going on everybody welcome again to my youtube channel so in today's video i am in dar es salaam this is tanzania and uh today i want to take you around dar es salaam dar es salaam it's one of uh, you know one of the major towns right here in tanzania and one thing i have noted about dar es salaam you know for the few hours i have been here the town is so clean i like it you know i like the mwendokasi you know bus services it's pretty nice you know they have their own lane so no matter to snowboard the borders use that less because i'm told you are going to be fined heavily so what you are seeing over there that is a uh, part of dar es salaam city and uh, that is where me and my rider malik we want to take a ride within dar es salaam town i want to show you how dar es salaam looks like remember this is september september is my birthday month so it's time to explore guys let us go to dar es salaam you know all the border border rice riders in this town you know they have to most of them they have to to obey the traffic rules unless there's no car like what you are doing you know you can still proceed this is another bus station they were built under the leadership of the late magufuli is it and the road you are seeing on the side on my right that is their lane so any matatu if you are found on that lane you are going to be penalized heavy you are going to pay a heavy fine so this is the wrestler my people this is kariako this is kariako so guys i used to, uh, is it classic bus to come to this side so the it should be somewhere here is it lumumba drive remember guys for you to come to dar es salaam you can still use tahmid you can use classic you can use kidia welcome to dar es salaam my people I'm having an experience of a year. You need to come here and see what mama is doing. Mama is doing some great work, you say? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, As a Tanzanian? Yeah, I like it. Aha. This is another stage for Mwendokasi buses. This is uh, something it was supposed to be Nairobi you know Brit But I just don't know what happened you know the whole thing stalled Sorry guys for the wind I'm trying This is Bibititi road What Bibititi road this is road. Come again which road Bibititi road BBT Road. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. One of the LST, what, what we call it? the first female leader. In the first female leader in Tanzania. BBT. Oh, so it's named. Okay, I haven't gotten that name very well, but I think I'll get it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So when you go that way, where are you going to? To Posta, okay. So we are going to the CBD, to the capital center, to the city itself. Okay. And I'm told Dar es Salaam on a Sunday, you know, there are not many people. But tomorrow it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be something different. There are going to be many, many, many people. Sana. 
ko zapa na Now this is where you are going to get some nice tall tall apartments. Wow. Kivuki o Morogoro. The ferry line. If you want to go to Zanzibar, this is the place, yeah. the ferry place. Ah. So guys, I'm told if you want to go to Zanzibar, that is where you're going to catch your ferry. Got some nice twin towers apartments somewhere there. What's the name of the twin apartments? The twin towers? Twin towers. Unajina, twin towers. Is that a Cocoa Beach? No. No, this is Tanzania port. Tanzania port. Yeah. So guys remember we're in the CBD and this is uh, you know the upper town more buildings have come up new new buildings have come up four points Sheraton there's a casino here So this is Dar es Salaam, see how the place looks beautiful, some new apartments have come up, you can see like that one, you can even see, you know, we got others have come up. You know, sometimes just... Uh, if you want to have a good view of a place, sometimes it's just good, you know, get some time, get some money, and just walk to that place. Because you can never know how beautiful a place is until you go there. That is a Holiday Inn Hotel. Maktaba Square. Guys, I need to learn more of Swahili. You know, sometimes I really don't like speaking Swahili because, you know, Kiswahili cha Nairobi bana. When you are in Tanzania, it's just sometimes a shame. <laughs> you can say something, but in real sense you mean something different. Sorry guys for the wind, but I'm trying. Uhuru Heights. 
Wow, I wish I get a clear picture of the Uhuru Heights. Let me see. Wait. If you can get a picture of Uhuru Heights. Yeah, that is the Uhuru Heights. <laughs> Sorry, I, have to, I had to turn my camera down because, you know, we're already on the move. And uh, we've got another nice building somewhere. What's the name of this road, a street? Uh, this is Bagamoyo Road. Bagamoyo Road. Uh -huh. This is Bagamoyo Road. One thing you need to know, what I have come to notice, you know, I still repeat this, for the few hours I've been in Dar es Salaam, the town is clean. Kambarage House. Yeah, Kambarage is a famous name. Within Tanzania, I can't really remember the history behind it. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> first president. Ah. This is the Aga Khan Hospital, it's in Nairobi. So, Aga Khan Hospital is from the left to the right. So we are going to end our video here. We are going to Cocoa Beach. Okay. So guys, thank you always for, you know, coming over just to check on my videos. Remember I told you I'm in the wrestling. And that is the ocean. Naomba Trusulia Mahali. I just request to stop Mahali up.